Neil Hogan. Today's uh, lesson is going to be on Paul McCartney's tune, Blackbird. This is a song I like to use for students who are just starting finger picking using an alternating bass. So we're a little bit past the arpeggio stages and starting to use your thumb to alternate back and forth between two notes. In Blackbird, this is not exactly how Paul plays it, but this is the way I like to teach people at first. We'll have another lesson later on about um, the real half-picked, half-strum technique that he used when he recorded it. But for this lesson, we're going to learn to keep your thumb alternating back and forth between either the sixth, fifth, or fourth strings and the third string. So your thumb is always going to be moving back and forth between a lower string and the third string. Now when we're using the third string as a bass note, what your thumb is always playing. Your thumb's always playing bass notes, your fingers are always playing melody notes in finger picking songs. When your thumb plays the, the second string, we only need to use two fingers instead of three that I like to use in most songs. But in the case of Blackbird, I like to not use my index finger for anything and just stay with middle finger on the second string and the ring finger on the first string. So every note on the second string in this song is played with the middle finger and every note on the th first string in this song is played with the ring finger. So your thumb, most of the measures, measures consist of a pinch where your thumb and middle finger or your thumb and ring finger are playing two notes together followed by a second thumb which is always going to be on the third string, the open G string, or, and either another pinch after that or then the second half of the measure may have something like this in it where you're, you play the first two notes together, the bass note alone, and then the same two notes you just played, but this time separated as eighth notes. This would be an example as in the third measure of the song, where we've got the notes at the tenth and twelfth frets. So the only two things your right hand has to do in this song are pinch notes and keep alternating between strings, or pinch, alternate, and then separate notes to the alternate bass note. The first measure and a half of the song, the first measure only has two beats in it. That would be the pinch of the G and the B, followed by the open G. The second measure is a pinch with an A in the bass and a C up on the second string, played together. Again, this would be thumb and middle, followed by the open G string. Then the notes B in the bass and G, uh, D on the third fret of the B string. I like to play the A and the C with my first finger on C, and the B and the D with my second finger on B and my fourth finger on D. It's easiest to get these two fingers there with your first finger having just been here. So your first finger plays the C, and then your second and fourth fingers play the B and the D. At this point, you're going to slide up the neck, keeping your fourth finger in contact with the second string the whole way up. It's moving to the twelfth fret. So keep it on the, on the string. As it moves up, get your first finger ready to uh, com play with it on the fifth string at the tenth fret. So that's, that change again is going to look like this. And now I move up the neck with my second finger getting replaced by my first on the way and grab these notes at the tenth and twelfth frets. Now I start the picking pattern where that is keeps happening throughout the song. We've got the pinch and the open G and then the eighth notes and the open G. So here we have that again. <laughs> 